Look at you now, boy. Look at you now. Before the bell podcast, slamming all comers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest wrestling podcast of all time. That's right. It is Before the Bell. I am Main Event CT, and I am back. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited to talk to you all. Before I introduce my partners in crime, let me say to everybody out there, all the bell ringers, you guys are watching live. Thank you. Coming to the chat. The Super Chats are open. If you're watching a replay, play Replay Squad in the comments and put your bills in there. To my left... This man needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway because he is the legendary. He is the dark architect. He is Dark Kent. This is our resident superhero. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Burns. How are you? What's up, people? What's up, people? How you doing, man? Man, if I was any better, I'd be you, brother. Oh, stop that. Stop that. How about them Dodgers, everybody? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Feeling good. Let's talk some raps. Let's talk some graps. That uh, that happened. Nice shirt. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Very you, nice sir. shirt. Yet another one that if you ain't got it... you. You're you not going to get it. it. You, you know what I don't like? I don't like <laughs> that they don't celebrate Nation of Domination like they do uh, DX or uh, why do you Evolution. Think that is? You know why. <laughs> okay, I was about you to say, I'll make sure you understood what you were saying. <laughs> if you're going to tell me this, they are their greatest rivals mm -hmm. of the Attitude Era sure. and no mention ever. Anyway, of course ladies not. and gentlemen, <laughs> this is our... I don't even know how to describe this guy. This this is the mascot of the show, ladies and gentlemen. He is the mascot in our hearts, and this guy never lets us down. His wallet should be taken from him because he should not have it anymore. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Matamaro! Hola! It is none other than Mark Cosis <laughs> here to celebrate Dias de las Muertes. And we are here before the Bell podcast representing that before the bell. If you know, you know. Drop those bells in the comments. I didn't know the hair came with the mask. Yeah, I just I'll tell you that right there. I it, it's it's uh it's 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 tiptoeing. Ooh. You know what I mean? It's tiptoeing. Yeah. The line's right there. Mm -hmm. I got the tiptoe. No. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. See. <laughs> now you stepping, you know what I mean? Like actually stepping, stepping on the line. La Marco. No, no. La Marco. I just said <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is me. What do you mean? What line? Oh wow! It was something about their rolling of that L. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just, Ooh. you know, um, they get to say the N word. I get to no, do the voice. No, 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 they, no, no. they do not. Yeah, they, that's they, not they, what they do. And they do it all the time. <laughs> there are a hundred words. Who's they? The <laughs> that's the problem I have with the sentence. <laughs> There's no there, thing. There are a hundred words in the Spanish language oh. for oh. for friend, uh, hombre, ese, vato. You're not uh, about to go through all no, one. No, you're not but I'm saying, why do they keep saying the word? <laughs> Negro. Poor old boy. Oh. Uh, well, let me say this, man. <laughs> Without even jumping ahead, first and foremost, everybody in the comments, thank you so much. As you know, we shut the show down for significant super chats of $10 or more. We thank you because we're truly grateful. This show is paid for by viewers like you. Um, I want to say thank you to all of the good people of Saudi Arabia, the Saudi Arabians, for showing so much love. The longest flight I've ever been on in my life. I'm and sure. It was in Riyadh where oh, yeah. WWE is going this Crown week. Jewel. Oh, yeah, yeah, Crown yeah. Jewel. It's beautiful over there, man. Yeah. It's I'm talking about... Whatever you think Saudi Arabia looks like, get it out of your head. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's like the first time you really see what Jamaica or Africa looks like that they don't tell you in the media. Beautiful, That's man. That's why travel is important. Because yeah. they have people yeah. thinking Saudi Arabia look like Aladdin. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's no. like, bro, ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. The women up underneath, uh, underneath the Mabayas, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, they yeah, call yeah. the Mabayas, boy. Mabayas. They, they looking at they're doing their thing. Over there. <laughs> okay. Let's just say that. Anyway, wait, wait, so like they have to wear those outside, or what? Are, what are the rules? Well, they don't have to do anything, but yes, they wear them <laughs> everywhere. It's a cultural it's thing. Like Michael Cole talking about <laughs> the city before the pay per view. No, no, no. There's no civil rights violations going on here. There's no violence against <laughs> women. It's like no. what? No. Uh, to the comments, I need to talk to the bell ringers, man. I'm gone for one week, 
and y'all let me down like this. I look at the last episode. You know what I saw, fellas? Yes. Forty comments mm. in the comment bar. I don't like it. Mm. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hey. I don't. I don't like what you guys got going on, Bill Ringers. You know that we get no less than 250 comments in that comment box for the live and the replay, and to look and see 40 comments, and then y'all had Brian Kendrick gone. I knew he at least had a plan, but apparently <laughs> <laughs> he did not have a plan. <laughs> I love the delay laugh bro your laugh genuinely brings me joy that's because uh, the blood is being cut off from the rest of his body from that tight ass mask on his head i don't know what you <laughs> he's gonna pass out <laughs> before the episode they is cut, over they cut to me at one point i just <laughs> wake me up fool um, get, your get your comments up. Get your comments up. Get your comments up, ladies and gentlemen. Comments up. Super chat is open. We're on StreamYard. That means we're on Facebook and YouTube at the same time, which means that you can give us stars. You give us super chats. You can even give us the cash app. Well, all we care. You understand? But it is because we are here that we are excited to do this. And I'm going to tell you something else. I'm very pissed about something that I'm going to mention during the after show. Ooh. Right. So if you're not on the Patreon, get Ooh. with it because I'm going to go unleashed about something that I mean, made me angry. <laughs> all right. All right. In the meantime, Monday Night Raw. Opens with Seth Rollins and Bronson Reed. This feud feels good. Yes. Ooh. This feels like, oh, yeah, this is wrestling. They right. elevated Bronson Reed to heights that I don't think we were able to see before. Oh. Yeah. But why do you think, is it Seth Rollins? Because let's go back. He also splashed our truth and you know, of course, it got well, a big. Uh, I mean, like, no, 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 no. I wasn't. No, I'm not. I'm not downplaying our truth. I'm just like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, our truth gets beat up. That's what happens, right? Okay. That's what it leads to. Like, it's like we love. Uh, you know, yuck, 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 yuck. Uh -huh. You know, and then he gets beat down. Like that's yeah. what that always happens. So it wasn't that surprising. <laughs> like you take Seth seriously. So when he beat down Seth. That was like a whole thing. But we got already got a significant super chat in the building. Please read it because the cameras are yeah, blocking. B Master 84, Thank $10 so dollar super chat. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Says, do you think Samantha Urban will end up in AEW because Tony will give her a blank check to do whatever she wants? Uh she said she, well, what's what's the boy uh ricochet ricochet said uh she won't be going to aew she said she didn't really want to do announcing she kind of just wanted she said to, straight up she didn't like announcing she didn't like announcing what? which seems crazy yeah which yeah she was so good at it she wanted to be a manager uh let her be a manager then wwe was like nah yeah WWE they said no we yeah. want you to be an announcer they were like you you're great this is what this. you do this yeah. is what we want you to do we have no need for you as a manager she was on it was either american idol or she was on x factor uh, one of those singing yeah, shows america's got talent think, and she yeah. america's got talent and yeah. she has a phenomenal voice we love samantha why would okay put it like this is what i'm trying to say let me calm down okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you give us a preview of what you're angry about it's too many thoughts at <laughs> Tell once why you mad what? Huh? If she's shown you what she can do with ring announcing and nobody has done that before her, mm -hmm. why would you give her the opportunity to be a manager? And she could probably be uh, the female, if not better, Paul Heyman no. with given time. No. no. Different. <laughs> yeah. But she could be great. We don't know. But look, man, I... But clearly there was a reason they said saw her do because I'm sure she tried out or it was like, oh, I can manage Ricochet and help him. Mm -hmm. Probably not. What, what, what would that have benefit? Like what well, it definitely would have helped Ricochet a lot. Could you read that, please, Mark? Yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> Candon Marshall, the 1999 Super Chat. Yeah. Says, shout out to the best wrestling podcast going. What are some of your greatest wrestling rivalries? We'll get to that in we'll a second. Let's finish this Samantha yeah. Urban conversation real Ooh. quick. Um yeah, I don't, you know, I feel like there might be a reason they were like, yeah, I don't don't worry about managing. And you know what that reason is? What's that? Cuz she's they had MVP managing. Teddy Long was a manager. <laughs> MVP, first you just named two black men <laughs> in two decades. I want yeah, you to know that yeah, difference. Yeah, ja all. Jacqueline managed. Uh Shaniqua managed. Who are these people, Jacqueline? Shaniqua. I get you. Who Shaniqua? You remember Shaniqua, she managed the Basham brothers? When, like Shaniqua, she was Linda Miles on Tough uh, Enough season is, two. This is that Marxism <laughs> memory coming yeah. out. Like, I don't know. <laughs> What's that about? The Basham brothers. Like, dear Lord, I haven't thought about them in 15 years. <laughs> I would have given you Leo Rush. Yeah. But, Le Le yeah. Shani anyway. Here's my uh, thing. Yeah. And I got some inside baseball on this. Oh, let's hear it. Because, you know, I've dealt with WWE mm -hmm. several times now in an official capacity. If it's not part of the plan, it's just not happening. 
You know what I'm That's saying? Right. It's what not do you happening. mean? Adam Cole left because they wouldn't let him do his titch, t- Twitch stream and all those other outside opportunities that he, he had. Kayla left because they weren't supportive of her mm-hmm. wanting to do acting and go into other fields of entertainment. Obviously, Samantha wanted to do some other things. They were like, no. You know what I mean? And that's just how they roll. Just like, you know, we wanted to continue to, to do the Sami Zayn comedy show. Yeah. And they were like, no. You know what I mean? Like, they were down to do it for the Netflix festival. But post that, it's like, if they don't have full control and it's not their idea, mm-hmm. it's just not how they get down. And I, I can understand a lot of those things. The the Twitch stream, that was a Vince thing. Mm-hmm. Vince didn't understand Twitch. He didn't understand anybody except for Xavier Woods, which I know he had to fight for to get up, up, down, down. However, when it comes to ring announcing and managing, we've seen other announcers and other referees go on to do way more. You mentioned Teddy Long. Mm -hmm. Teddy Long was a referee, and he became a general manager of SmackDown. So, But in fairness, Teddy Long was a manager before he became – he was a manager in WCW. Mm -hmm. You know, managed Doom, managed uh, the Skyscrapers, all these amazing yep, tag yep. teams. So mm-hmm. he he had a background with that, you know, and then coming over to WWE, referee, then it was like thugging and bugging enterprises. <laughs> yeah. uh, Rodney Mack, Chris Nowinski, Rodney Mark Mack. Oh, yeah. my God. Man, Red Dog, bro. That was my guy. Ew. <laughs> you didn't like Rodney Mack. Rodney Mack was trash. Wow. What trash can, homie? <laughs> trash can? Yeah, the White Boy bad. Challenge. No, no, I know, I know. I almost made a shirt for the White Boy Challenge, but that he was horrible. Horrible. Where's yeah. Rodney Mack now? Uh in NWA is part of a tag. It's like New Doom with uh okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You... Samantha should have a shot. Uh the next question was what? Put that back on the screen, please, Mark. Next question is what are some of your greatest wrestling rivalries? Should I Ooh. make that the segment for today? For Chris's list? This segment that's sweeping the nation. It, it is sweeping the nation. It it absolutely. Is. I saw two nation. brooms outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm a because you were so special. That's the highest super chat we've had today, Kenan. I'm going to save what I had planned for today, and I'm gonna make that. The segment that's sweeping. I'm not even gonna say the name of the segment. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm save it for later. But that's gonna be the list later on. So y'all think okay, about cool. that while we're going through the show. And go to the next one, please, Mark. Next up, beautiful day EXO with the nine ninety nine. Thank you. Network prices says hello all. <laughs> this is my <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time catching live, and I'm really excited. Before this podcast, I wasn't into wrestling, and y'all got me to watch, and I love y'all's camera. Oh, welcome. Wow. Welcome Thank to the so nation. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Welcome in. Welcome I love in hearing that. I feel like that is one of the most uh, gracious compliments that we get as far as people who don't even watch wrestling or yeah. haven't been watching in a while, and they come back in because of our chemistry, which goes to show you that we are truly the greatest, man, because I watch a lot of different podcasts, and I'm like... <sighs> yeah, yeah. I had a lot of comedians like mm-hmm. come to me. Like I, I used to watch wrestling. Now I watch our podcast. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm going to get back into it. But yeah. fun. That's like you said. That's the that's the greatest of compliments. It is, sure. man, because it lets you know that what we're doing isn't in a vacuum, and people are uh are following it. Also, shout out to Mark Henry, man. Mark Henry just started following us yep, and yep. me. And let me tell you something, boy. We're on our way. Yeah, on, we the, on next our way. Bruce. The next Lady Bruce, boy. <laughs> we are on. Our way. Um, you all right, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why? What happened? Okay, now nah, you just took a breath that seemed like <laughs> you were struggling a little bit. Huh? No, no, I'm doing I just want to make sure you're good, dog. Yeah, nice yeah. shirt, by the way. I see the Lucha Libre shirt. Yeah. yeah. This is great, man. Yeah, man. One of my, my uh, uh, Instagram purchases. I don't remember oh, the company. Yeah, though, yeah, yeah. That, that's what Uncle Never wears in Mexico. Yeah. That's, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what when I, go, when I go to When I go to Rosarito. <laughs> 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 Nephew, come with me down to the <laughs> we can go down to the border this weekend. <laughs> now what is a dumb kid show? <laughs> They're playing track. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> yo, oh, no. yo, 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 I can't. This is a first. This is a first. I gotta walk off. We gotta walk. He might have, I think he's throwing up. He laughed so hard he puked. Whoa. Oh. This is a before the bell <laughs> first. <laughs> I'll go to Rosario. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is what we go to Rosario. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I also oh. got the flu over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been down for the count. I'm back now, All but right, man, back, the residual. Bro. 
Oh, Randy <laughs> Constance uh, with the super chat. Mm. Uh, business is business. Damn right. Damn right yeah, it baby. is. Damn right it is. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. You got the Dubai flu, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. man. That was out, bro. It was like... When you get sick out of town, it's yeah, a different yeah. feeling because you don't have a Walgreens or a CVS to go get your stuff taken care of. I had to sit in my 10 star hotel room <laughs> yeah. and just sweat it out, bro, and just wait. And then uh, when the flight happened, whew, it was a little bit better because it was like a great flight. But uh, shout out to Martin Lawrence, man. Martin Lawrence. Let me say something, boy. Producer Yo says you got has the flu by instead of the Dubai. <laughs> the flu by. <laughs> so Yo, I'm talking about the nicest hotel rooms, yeah. the night, the greatest flights. This dude, man, mm. uh, honor to have been there. Right did, you, did you tell him I said hey? I did not. Oh. I didn't know you wanted me to tell well, him. I, also, I, I why asked, asked you to tell him I said hey? Did you? Yeah, before you left. To just tell Martin, you said, "Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah." For him to do what exactly? I don't know. Just to be like, what? You know, he, he might have been like, "Oh, cool," or, "Oh, his name's Martin too." Hey, man, you know what? My guy uh, Chris Muno says, "What up, Martin?" <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah, so we go. Right, let's waste point. Martin Lawrence's time. Uh, Could you waste thirty seconds of Martin's no. life for me? <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> see, see, what I do not do. <laughs> Is waste Martin's time, boy. <laughs> He's not a small talker. I'll tell you that. Martin is the nicest guy in the world. Yeah. But you got to pick and choose. Like, I've always said to people, uh, like, when I started popping online, I started saying to people, because people would say stuff like, hey, man, uh, hey, hey, tell Jenny. I'm like, hey, man, you're getting to talk to me right <laughs> yeah. now. And you're going to waste this moment to ask me about somebody else. So, like, when it comes to Martin, I, don't, I talk when he talk, I don't just be like, "Hey man, let me ask you something." In uh, talking dirty after dark, what <laughs> made you? That's right, right. Well, you know, speaking of talking, uh, Rollins and and uh, Bronson Reed didn't do a lot of talking. They did do a lot of fighting. Yeah, so you're supposed state. to. Do. Yeah, I don't like where this is going for Seth. Seth is putting Ooh. everybody over, which I enjoy, mm -hmm. and I feel like this time next year, Bronson Reed will be in world title picture, if not by SummerSlam. Huh. Mm. However, Seth Rollins. Has he has he reached unk status to where now he's just putting people over? Not quite. I think that he's he's evergreen. Okay. You know what I mean? There's certain people that he's not quite like Randy Orton. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But he's someone who, no matter what the situation is, no matter what the time period is, you could always heat him up when you need to. That's true. And right now they don't need him in the main event. You're so right. It's kind of like this is better. This is how you can best serve. The overall roster right now. I'll give you that. I'll also give you this. When we talk about wrestlers who you can activate at any time. Yeah. The Miz. Sure. Is he being put in position to be the leader of Final Testament? Because they all protected him. Absolutely not. I think what they're doing well, with... This mask is outrageous. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I didn't introduce this myself. This is like a it's... Latin nun. <laughs> <laughs> it's the chairman. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Lamarca. Yeah. Ah. Lamarca. Lamarca. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Didn't he die recently? Yeah. Oh, so here's. <laughs> he, was it him or was it L.A. Park? Which one died? The, whichever was the oldest. I don't think it was this, but there's yeah, a lot yeah, yeah. of them. And, no, there was a Gallagher situation no. with psychosis. Wait, what? That Mark one? says mouth looks like Ja Rule. I don't even know <laughs> what, that, what that means. What does that mean? <laughs> but for some reason. It hits properly. That's I don't, a, I that's don't understand, and I don't like it. <laughs> no, I was about to say that's one of those insults where you just it just it just plants like a, a landmine in your spirit. It we, looks like what is the uh? <laughs> what's your favorite scary movie? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ja Rule mouth. That's a good description. Uh, but it doesn't. Like I, I don't said, know what it means because it doesn't fully do you, make sense. Like you know said, how, you're just thinking about it all day. Do you know what how does much Ja Rule you mouth mean? Do you know do, much, do my mouth look like? Does know. my mouth look like Ja Rule? Or do I have a mouth that looks like Ja Rule's mouth? Like you have so many questions. <laughs> Great points. <laughs> and also, do you know how much you have to look at Ja Rule's face? Uh, yeah. To be like, ah, oh, that mask looks like Ja Rule's mouth. Now, Can I tell you something? It is disturbing yeah. that I see like two sets of teeth. When you talk, <laughs> I don't like that at all. It's yeah. spot on. <laughs> it's spot on, boy. What would I be without my baby? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the Spanish word for baby? 
I don't know, oh, okay. actually. Oh. I think it's like uh, Bebito. Ch- 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 it is drop not baby Bebito. Is yeah, we not that. <laughs> Ch- Ch- drop wood baby. I took Latin in high school, y'all. Bebito. What is the, the Latin word for baby? I know in French it's l'enfant. Why did you describe? Why, why? was that pronounced? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got a roll. L'enfant. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we were talking about it's raw. Bebe. 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 It's Bebe. Bebe. It's Bebe. It's not how you say it. Not. What do you see? Oh, it is El Bebe. Yeah, it is El Bebe. El Bebe. El Hiro. El Hiro. Hiro. That just means son. All right. Oh, All right. oh yeah, that's right. Mijo. Yeah. Ooh. I don't... I don't, I don't. <laughs> There's so many things. It's the it's the double set of teeth. It's seeing the eyebrows <laughs> through the eye holes. Yes. It's just a lot of disturbing things about that man. I hate that. Uh-huh. Uh, ja, 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 ja. What? No. Nope. nope. Wyatt Six is back, and they're feuding now with Final Testament. Yeah. And this actually helps Final Testament. Absolutely. Because, oh, yeah. man, they were, oh, they were struggling for a very long time. They have to win this feud or it's over. Final Testament? Yes. Uh, that's no, not gonna happen. But if they lose, they've lost every they've lost every feud yeah. and just about every match they've ever been in. True. They are mm. completely toothless if they lose this one. Very true. And I think that Wyatt Six has enough goodwill mm-hmm. that they could drop one and then keep it going. Nah, because they've mm. only had one feud before this. Yeah. As an Alpha Academy or yeah. American Alpha. And that's a testament to Chad Gable being so good sure. that they were able to rebound from that and still look menacing. That's kind of my point, though. You know Why I mean? Six don't have that luck, though. Uh, yeah. you don't, you, I think too they do. Mm-hmm. They, and it, it can't, I, listen, I think they could lose to maybe a bloodline and a bloodline feud down the line. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I don't think they could lose to Final Testament because then no. that kills whatever built that. I think Final Testament could beat them up some, but definitely can't win a match against them. Then what do you do with Final Testament when they when they eventually <laughs> lose? Uh, it's over. Go back to... Um, <laughs> yeah, it's over. It's all over. Paul you Ellery took NXT? a bump. Yeah, I guess you can't you really. Paul Ellery? Ellery took a bump. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, that when bag of bombs bump, too. went down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did yeah, not see that coming. It's like a yard sale. Everything you own goes in different directions. <laughs> like, that's the kind of fall he took. It was like, yo, like, yeah. you can't. You can't be falling like yeah. that. Like that scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Old men have no control when they fall. No. Huh? It, it's just like a, an arm goes up, their leg bends forward. Yeah. Wait, it's oh. like, wait, why? Pawpaw went down, but yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> like Reed Richards. <laughs> <laughs> what? He said, Paul Paul went, went down. down. <laughs> That's literally what we call my Paul grandfather, Paul. which is hilarious. Yeah. That's Pawpaw, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but his grandkids were watching that. No! <laughs> yeah. Is he okay? Save him. Doesn't he have a daughter who wrestles? Rachel Ellery? Rachel, yeah, she's, yeah. Married, oh. she's married to Chris Hero. Oh, okay. Right on. Shout out to Chris Hero, friend of the show. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I love Lash Legend and... Uh, Jakar Jackson. Jakar Jackson. <laughs> Jakar Jackson... Tell me if I'm wrong. Jakar Jackson is kind of like Black Carmella. She looks like her. I can see that. Her character is very similar. Yeah. I can see that. Black Carmella. I don't like the implication that they're being forced to buy tickets to these shows. (laughs) (laughs) Why can't they they interfere like any other wrestlers do? Why are they in the crowd (laughs) every show? What are you like? <laughs> they couldn't Burst. get no comments. Right backstage. <laughs> yeah. Nah, y'all ain't on the list. <laughs> <laughs> they had any bench staff guy. Can I? I need to. I need to double check. Yeah. Yourself. No, 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 no. no. Like we. Got, oh. Well, I mean, if you could call Shawn Michaels, then maybe we can <laughs> get you in. But I, you know, can he come Burst. pick you up? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have to walk you in. Yeah. Let me tell you something, birds. Yeah. <laughs> you bring me joy. <laughs> I don't like the implications. <laughs> Yo, that is a great point, bro. I find it strange that they're always oh. in the crowd in seats. Yeah, it's prime time yeah, real estate yeah, seats. Yeah, yeah. They in really some prime seat. seats. Uh, <laughs> man, I did not think about that until it's just moment. <laughs> yeah, it mm. really bothers me. It really yeah. like come interfere like regular wrestlers do. Yeah, in gear they didn't even have them in gear. No, they, they, like bro, they clothes. didn't plan yeah. on starting no stuff. <laughs> They just was enjoying the show. 
So I wonder, is this an official call up for them? Great question. Well, they got the match of crown jewel. Yeah. Yes. I don't think it's, a, this is why I don't think it's an official call up. Because they've shown The Rock's daughter, who's the general manager of NXT. Yes. And she, Ava, you know. I hate that name. What? The general manager no, of no, NXT? No, no, her name is Ava Rain. And they eventually they dropped the rain. Now it's just Ava. But it's, you the rock, you, you have the same head. Just yeah. be The Rock's daughter. <laughs> yeah. Ava Rock or something. Mm -hmm. Ava John, something. Pebble. Pebble, <laughs> Pebble would that. be fire. Come on. Pebble would be fire. That'd be a great name. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's involved in uh, the angle of the Fatal 4-Way Tag Championship. And, you know, um, they merged the tag championships for the women on NXT and with uh, the main roster. The main roster. Yeah. So I don't feel like it's an official call-up, even though they've both been on SmackDown and Raw and NXT. Yeah. Um, but I think it's just to test the waters, and I don't think they're ready. Like, looking at Lash Legend's yeah. last match on Raw, I think it was. Or the one with Piper Niven? <clears throat> yeah, with Piper Niven. Yeah, she's SmackDown. not yeah. ready to be on the main roster yet. Still no. a little jilted. Yeah. Yeah. But I think the NXT roster, they have a bajillion women yeah. right now. Certainly. So... It is a matter of I'd rather them come up and uh -huh. then just like figure it out on the road, as we've seen with like Maxine Dupree and and a lot of other. She's uh, a special case. Maxine Dupree is so fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. they make a way <laughs> for they her. They were just like, you know what? We yeah, we need her out of come as on, many man. eyes as you as humanly possible. She's Maxine Dupree is almost too beautiful to not be on camera. Right. Oh wow. Yeah. I know. I'm sh I'm shocked that I said it. It's yeah. just like I can't. I can't deny a person's true beauty. I yeah. seen her at the at the hotel bar after a SmackDown one time, mm -hmm. and I I texted everybody I knew. <laughs> I was just like, who? I, I, this makes no sense how bad she is in person. Like yeah. seriously, I can imagine she yeah. had a black boyfriend too, right? That Probably. explains it. Probably yeah. that she, explains. She knows what section it. of the store to shop in. Hey man, let me tell you something. <laughs> you know who else is gorgeous? Diggs. I think her name is <clears throat> something. Diggs. Uh, she's uh, in NXT. Diggs. Yeah, she was she was on that show, uh, not proving ground. It was like tough enough, but not. It was on Roku. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, like not. I almost said Tay. Uh, Taya Diggs. <laughs> so it's something crazy. You almost said Tay Diggs. No, I, no, 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 that. But I know it's like this man watched the best man last night. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I'll find it right now. That's hilarious. Uh, While we talking about that, what do y'all think of this Oba Layla Femi? Diggs. I was right. What is it? Layla Diggs. Oh, Layla Diggs. oh. Bree Covington uh, is her name. She she came from like Shot Put or Track or something. NXT like that. Next Gen. Um, I don't know, but she. You see. She's something to marvel at, brother. Or maybe could could you throw oh, throw it up yeah, on the screen? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Layla Diggs, fire, Layla Diggs. yeah, okay, absolute yeah. fire. She's Layla gorgeous. Diggs. But speaking of romance, what do y'all think of this Oba Femi Nikita Lyons possible oh, boy. romance brewing for kayfabe? Well, I, I'll, I'll I'll take it if yeah. it ends up being him going to his like <laughs> his regular voice. Uh huh. If she like sucks the African out of him. Whoa, whoa, so, wow! <laughs> I never want to wow. hear sucks the African wow. out of him ever again. Wow. I can't even. I mean, there's, wow. there's not even like a, a, a colloquialism no. to say pause, to say, wait a minute, hold up. We can't save you. No. <laughs> wow. Suck the African wow. out of here. No, no, I mean, like, all right, you remember an undercover brother where, when he started dating Denise Richards? Uh -huh. Okay. And, he, and like she's so fine of a white woman, he starts doing the you know the the tie. Start dressing preppy. Start yeah, dressing preppy. Yeah, yeah talking like that. Like that. If that happens to Oba Femi, he goes back to like the Jordan <laughs> voice, and he's like got glasses on. He's you know reading about feelings or whatever. That's... because he's you know he's got this this big booty white woman, the the uh, maga the <laughs> maga the stallion or whatever they're calling. Yeah, her. yeah, yeah. Listen. <laughs> Uh, whew, let's go to SmackDown, man. Um, <laughs> you know, I've met her before she was uh, Nikita. Yeah, when okay. she when she was just the lioness. And yeah, I wish I I wish I had more confidence in 2018. I'll yeah, just say yeah, that. Yeah. You didn't have it? No, I was. Yeah, I was, she was pretty cool too. I met her at Wale Mania. Yeah, she was real nice. She was yeah. a real nice girl. Also, shout out to your latest commercial, man. Y'all out there booking? 
Thank you, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Right. You're a commercial Absolutely. king, boy. Thank you, man. Um, <laughs> what is the, this? It was apropos of nothing. Is this super chat? <laughs> Randy Costa says, Dr. Umar, not even a real doctor. Uh, sure. <laughs> I mean, <Yeah>. listen, man. <laughs> Thanks for the super Thank chat, you, Randy. Thank you, bro. We appreciate yeah. the support. Uh, SmackDown. Randy oh, or... Oh, wait. No- Jay Uso lost the IC title. We can't just yeah. gleam over that. Yeah. 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 On I, his second defense. I'm going to tell you this. Yeah. Man. Just like Brian Breakers. I now 100% mm-hmm. believe the rumors that WWE is like, mm, Solo ain't it. We need to fast forward this storyline. Are you serious? Solo ain't it as the, as the when he was the street champ yeah, he was in great. NXT, perfect. Him trying to wear these suits, these suits that have trash. no tapers to it. None. You know what I'm saying? They like, you're, just, the you're just off the rack purchasing you know what i mean yeah like that's just what mm -mm, i disagree okay no he he has found his footing Uh solo is hilarious when he was holding up the tickets yeah that was great i got two tickets (laughs) no for sure right however he's coming out of a shell too late though it's too late it's too late late. never too late it is is too late they have the samoans under contract for life but martin (laughs) (laughs) they have all of them for life they said hey you can have sean maluda on aew dark we have the rest of the family here's the thing though survivor series is in a few weeks yeah they can't be they they're like okay enough we got to get the rock involved we got to get because because all this reeks of them rushing right yes he loses he they try to recruit him does jimmy and 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 roman he says no he shows up on smackdown the next week for no apparent reason he's just like hey man (laughs) stop what you're doing yeah why why are you why do you care you out you know what i mean you got out then they cost him the belt the very next week very next then the very next week he just forgives his brother yeah, it's like bro, and he what? wouldn't even talk to him the week before. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't yeah. even like. Yeah. Uh, so it's just like they're like, nah, we just got to get to it. We got to get to they it. They are pushing it fast, but I think for a good reason, because a, I don't think they really believe in Solo like that, even though he is currently coming out of his shell. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I would, con- I would compare not to interrupt, but I would compare the current bloodline to uh, the Cash Money Boys from uh, New Jack City. Solo, Solo is Nino Brown. Uh, what's Whoa. J- Jacob Jacob Fatu. Wouldn't Roman be Dino? No, Brown? I'm saying this the, current block, this the, car- incarnation. Yeah, the way the way he wears suits, he's cocky. The way he talks, a lot of like quips <laughs> and stuff like that. Uh, Jacob Fatu is uh, who is uh, who is his man who is like trigger happy. Um, uh, the light skin joint. Uh, Chris, what? the light skin joint. <laughs> the light skin <laughs> jo- dude, guy. Uh, <laughs> wait, you're not talking. Wait, trigger pain. happy. You might as well call Alan him Payne? a Alan red ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the light skin joint. You know, baby girl with the butters. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then, uh, you think along. he's G Money? G Money, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and the then, Samoans uh, are, uh, I mean, the the Tongans are the the Dutta man. Yes. <laughs> 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 Tonga Lo is a thousand percent the Dutta man. <laughs> that's, that's not bad. Yeah. Jacob is a superstar, and I am interested to see how they're going to uh, maneuver his singles career after Survivor Series. Tell me what you felt when he was face to face with Braun Breaker. Oh, Ooh. that felt good. Tell it felt good with him, yeah. and it also felt good with uh, Jacob and Roman. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> they definitely God. know what they're doing, man. 100%. And like that. The fact that they had that that face off, they had that stare down, they had yeah, that yeah, moment, yeah, yeah. and uh, it was to hear that pop from the crowd. I was right. like, "Oh, this is something I wouldn't There's even consider special before." Yeah, but you know what it did for me? I started going down the list, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Hmm, could I interest myself in Jacob Fatu versus Seth Rollins?" Yep. yep. Yeah. Could I interest myself in Jacob Fatu versus Drew McIntyre? Yep. yep. Could yeah. I interest myself in Jacob Fatu? It was just like everyone on the Raw roster versus Gunther. Okay, yes. so let's, Come let's on, do this. Man. Now, I'm talking about, I want to see Jacob Fatu be Jacob Fatu. I'm talking about him coming in and street clothes. I mean, I dog walk your ass. <laughs> that guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Now, that dude's a monster. Absolutely. So, okay. Okay. The future is in good Solo. hands. Solo... This is what I think. Yeah. Braun just got the title back. Mm-hmm. Can Jay Uso win, like I said, the Royal Rumble and beat Gunther at WrestleMania? Ooh. Or can he beat him before Mania at Royal Rumble for the World Championship? Because now he's got his IC run out of the way. Mm. He could challenge for it again, but I feel like Braun Breaker would do more with it. What did you say, Mark? 
<laughs> what did he say? I don't know. I didn't hear him. <laughs> but yeah. we do got another ten dollar super chat from Kimber Gilmore. Hey. Yeah. Thank you. Put that uh, on she the says, there, good brother? y'all really have brought back my love for wrestling. It's good to chat wrestling with other people that look like me. They rushed the bloodline reunion. How are we feeling about KO and Randy at CJ? I'm now excited to see Kevin Owens and Randy Orton because they made the match matter to me. Yeah. Right. By making Randy seem like he's the hunted for Kevin Owens, yep. that gives another layer for Kevin Owens being a heel this time around, yeah, yeah, as yeah. opposed to just being the whiner who breaks the fourth wall. Now I'm looking like Kevin Owens might be dangerous, but Randy Orton looks incredible. Absolutely. He looks like a champion more than he ever has. So it's interesting that they're playing that route for him. Totally. And to add to that, <laughs> I do also believe that, uh, you know, They've done a really good job of I, setting up that KO could be the one to cost Cody Rhodes the crown jewel title because he's he's over there now. He, he has a valid reason as to why he is in Saudi Arabia next week. You sound like Slowpoke Rodriguez <laughs> from <laughs> the Looney Tunes. <laughs> Slowpoke well, Rodriguez is a wrong. great reference. <laughs> Because I am the Marty Mo Dragon. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, you're you're. Oh, this is a a worse stereotype. Is what yeah. you're doing. Is what you. This is a Asian accent. Is what we're doing now. <laughs> There's no accent. This is just. Then why are you talking like that? I <laughs> talking like. This is just my voice. So. <laughs> Looks like a cone head from SNL. <laughs> That's stupid. crazy, He's Mark. Stupid. I man, this is a great choice, dude. Man, good for you. All these masks. Yeah. <laughs> why'd you why'd you say that? <laughs> like I like I'm a special kid who just colored out of the lines a little bit. <laughs> That's the, hey man, good job, buddy. <laughs> All these masks. He almost got most of them. The Martimo Dragon. That I used to play something. with him on a WCW versus NWO NW Revenge. Revenge. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Revenge. Oh man, this and is World incredible. Tour too. Oh man. Yeah. That's before see, this is where WWE beat them with the video games. Absolutely. You could create a player in WWF. Yeah. You couldn't do that in WCW. Right. That's right. where they beat you. That was my issue with that uh, AEW Fight Forever game, bro. Like, I, I, it was a fun game for like three months, and then you try to create somebody, and they they had five faces. I was like, uh, yeah, I tried to create a uh, Captain Sean Dean. Shout out, friend of the show. <laughs> and uh, he, it was, it was just, a, it was a white man uh, yeah, yeah, face yeah, 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 with yeah. with like camo jeans on. I, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'll never forget <laughs> playing No Mercy back in the day. Shout yeah. out to my good friend, Corey Mack. He used to always create a character named just Crenshaw. <laughs> 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 and he was just this big, small black dude gang banging his way to the WWE Championship. <laughs> it was the blackest thing of all time. It was amazing. You remember you could, for $50,000, you could unlock Ho. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Man, I remember, man, great. Your mind is incredible, brother. Your memory is this crazy. This isn't a super chat, but Eastside Review says you like Don Cheeto and Ocean's Eleven, and I got to tell you something. <laughs> the fit <laughs> is perfect for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I knew L.A. Knight. Yes. I knew the L.A. Knight thing was going to lead to a triple threat once we saw he was going to be the special guest referee. Yeah. It was a waste of game seven, though. Uh-huh. For him being the referee for game seven, we sure, knew sure. it was going to lead to that match. Uh, Candice LeRae. Oh, this is what I wanted to say about L.A. Knight. The title, the custom title. Did you see it? Oh, yeah. I didn't even notice. No. Yeah, he had the L.A. Knight. He had L.A. Uh, it was like in a uh, tile mm. all over the whole title. Oh, oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, it was a custom. It was super dope. <laughs> yeah, those <laughs> don't last very long, yeah. right? Right. So they sell enough toys, they're like, all right, bro, we yeah. need to strip you out. Yeah, yeah, man. That's like, what was the boy when Edge had the rated R title and he like he lost it after a week? I was like, oh, yeah. Also, who no one who customizes the mid card titles? Yeah, that's never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't. Yeah. Let me customize my U.S. My my hardcore championship, like nah nah, you got to be the world champion to Cena. have your own belt. Cena started that. No, nah, Cena was change. the first. Oh one no, to he change. customized the U.S. title with, the, with a spinner. Yeah, no, that was the world title. No, 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 no. no. He it did a spinner US, US title first. US belt? Yes, it was kind of fire too. I, I always wanted. Uh, it. Okay, maybe right. maybe for Christmas. All right, no, nah. I'm telling you, no. 
<laughs> yeah. Don't Save do your it. money. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a, a savings account? Don't you have yeah. goals? Yeah. <laughs> 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 You just be biased though. I'm about to say, yeah. Ian Dunlap would be disappointed. <laughs> Man, earn your leisure. I have a savings account in a black-owned bank. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for you. I don't I don't touch it. I put it away so it collects interest. It's only like it's like three cents. You per got year investments. Uh, You'd have several shares in a mutual fund for your costume budget. <laughs> several. Like I do this for the show. I okay? know, but we appreciate this. Yeah. Is my we investment. Appreciate. That's Absolutely. why we need those super chats <laughs> yeah, 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 because yeah, these yeah. things are expensive. <laughs> it's true. It's Mexico authentic. That's. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Ultimo Dragon. That's Japanese. Yeah, but he wrestled in Mexico sure. a lot. So Remember they... those pictures? That's what got me in international wrestling. Pictures what? of Ultimo Dragon where he have like twenty belts. Yeah, mm. and he'd be like, "What? Who is this dude? Like, he's incredible. He got to be." I'm That's so how I got into Japan. Yeah. I'm so WWE. I yeah. The only time I've watched another wrestling promotion is during the Monday Night Wars when I was watching WCW. Mm. Outside of that, once WWF won, yeah, oh yeah. boy, I was over there. Period. Okay. Only right. because WWE is a brand that I believe in. Yeah. Compared yeah. to, it's like WWE feels like your mama's house. Like, you know, it's a certain <laughs> amount of rules. <laughs> you know, you got to clean that bathroom. That's you know right. what I mean? Absolutely Make that bed. But when you go over your cousin's house, that's AEW sure. and anything goes. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, man. It, Don't y'all got chores over here, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just up till 6 a.m. <laughs> playing the game. Nah, well, you know. I mean, yeah. that is fair because you used to see like the pro wrestling illustrateds in the in the grocery store and it just be someone on the cover covered in blood. Yeah. And you're like, what is what, what is that? <laughs> I ain't never seen the Ultimate Warrior look like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was like, no, I don't want, I don't want nothing to do with whatever. You don't know, want the Japanese death match, Piranha <laughs> Shark Tank, dude. It's too much. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> yes, I do have goals. <laughs> <laughs> goals. Uh, we have 230 people in here. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all. Uh, do us a favor, man. And I'm not just saying this because this is what happens. Um, we have a goal as a channel. Um, we need to get before the bell to have a clips page and the way that we've agreed to do this yeah as soon as the page on youtube reaches ten thousand subscribers yeah so the sooner you guys get us the ten thousand subscribers the sooner before the bell has a clip page and it's all before the bell clips all the time and uh you guys can help us get there so please help us as a team yes sir get to 10k now with that candace LeRae versus naomi was solid naomi is protected until Survivor Series for sure. Yeah, yeah. But here's the problem. She's finally in championship contention, but we know Tiffy is waiting in the wings. Correct. So what happens for Naomi? Because I don't like how she's been treated until two weeks ago, uh, her win. She's like, she's like Lady Lashley, mm. where it's like, she's always a threat, but mm. never, you don't, you don't believe they're going to pull the trigger. Like even when Lashley was the world champion, you knew it was kind of transitional. Right, 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 you right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm with you too. I'm still, I'm still holding out hope that she somehow gets involved in the bloodline stuff. Like, I just think that it makes the most sense for her. If you want to like really create intrigue in her character, mm -hmm. cause that's the problem. It's like, yes, yeah, we all know she can wrestle, yeah. but she, I can't think of a Naomi storyline. Uh, she. I guess she had the one where Blair Davenport was just kind of rude. No, no, you don't count uh, that. I'm talking about before she left because she hasn't had a storyline since so she came back. Really, uh, yeah. I guess before she left, uh, Funkadactyl's breaking up. <laughs> uh, Team Bad was sort of a story. You know, she was a WWE SmackDown Women's Champion. <laughs> yeah. and she went to WrestleMania and won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, but I'm, had I'm no just, story. I'm going, going through it. all the stories. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh. Didn't she have something with Carmella for a bit? Is the mouth by the eyes <laughs> <laughs> in this what do you mask? Mean? Oh, what do you mean? Who I'm, is this now? Well, I'm, a, I'm the I'm the I'm the faceless one. I am uh, Sin Mara. Sin Mara. Sin Mara. Sin Mara. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. You look like um, oh boy. It's like well, it's like a bunny rabbit. The way one ear is up and yeah. the other one is kind of down. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, it kind of got squished. <laughs> <laughs> Then I got, uh, yeah, I'm just sitting on my mask. <laughs> <laughs> Saya is going to have a field day. Oh, uh, boy. Hold on. Scroll up a little bit in the comments, uh, Mark, right <clears throat> there. MTMTV CT looks like an extra in brown sugar. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. That's good. I don't get the gym like y'all. <laughs> <laughs> most dev was hilarious. That Man, movie. most dev, he had a run. He did. Yeah. He had a run, bro. He um, really did. Rewind. That movie sucks. Right. Yeah, that was an interesting <laughs> yeah, reference by you. Sucks. What was it? Twenty? What was the one? Forty eight hours or whatever? Not forty eight hours. What was the joint where he was like in New York and he? Oh, had to... oh, that's uh, that's the Spike Lee joint. Right? Yeah, where yeah. they got to move him from one prison to the other or something like that yeah, down yeah. the street. Twenty eight blocks or something like that. That's, yeah, yeah, that was good. That, that was, was good. good. Yeah, that was good. Um, Champa <laughs> is Cesaro Jr. and it's Damn. gonna go the same way for him. <laughs> Damn. Okay. It's a fact, bro. Yeah. He cannot talk on the mic. Well, he can. Ooh, but I was say he yeah, can. He's well, way better talking than Cesaro. But nobody cares. And then when we talk about height wise, Cesaro had the height, the strength, and the size, and nothing happened for him. Yeah. You think it's going to be better for a miniature version? I just, the, the problem is, again, it's, it's character with yes. Champa. Yeah. When he was psycho killer, you know what I mean? On the indie circuit. And then they sort of incorporated that into his character when he turned in NXT. Right. And was the champion and was obsessed with the belt. You know what I mean? It would do anything to keep it. Th that was way better. But now it's like they they don't realize that there's not enough time to build up the goodwill in DIY like they did in NXT. Yeah. No. DIY was like Bailey. You know what I mean? Where it was like, oh, they we love them, but they never succeed. Then they, they 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 finally won the big one. Then they lost the belt, and then they turn on each other. And it's like it's a whole thing to get invested in. Yeah. It's too crowded in the main roster to try to do that storyline. You just look like a jobber. You sure. know what I mean? And like that's I don't think it has anything to do necessarily with the talent. It's just it was a bad approach. So would you venture to say that that was a great rivalry, Chris? You know what? I would say that Champa and Gargano was a great rivalry, which, which brings me. Are you ready, Mark? Which brings me to the segment that's been sweeping the nation. Sweeping the nation. Absolutely sweeping the nation. Thank you to the super chat that we had earlier, because because we love the fans and we do it for the people. I'm going to incorporate that super chat, and we're going to do Chris's list. You just made the list. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So. We're going to do the top five. That's never a top five because, you know, we just, we flew it out here. Yeah. Pause. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we're going to cancel it. We're going to get it. Yeah. We're going to exchange it. We're always evolving. I'll say that. Yeah. Right. Uh, top, give me the top five greatest wrestling rivalries. Number one, uh, Piper Hogan. Yeah. Ooh, amazing. Pool. Ex expanded yep. decades. Uh and, you know, I think Piper legit hated Hogan. I can, again, inside baseball, tell you he was not a fan of Hulk Hogan. <laughs> right. More so Mr. T. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, rest in peace, Roddy. He, <laughs> so I don't think he'd have a problem with me telling this story. He legitimately was going to kill Mr. T. <laughs> I'm not kidding around. He said he thought, you know what, if I just back suplex him and arch it a certain way and yeah. he lands on his neck they can't tell me <laughs> that i did it on purpose you know what i mean he's like he had that thought several times as like i'm not gonna mess up wrestlemania <laughs> like that I'm like that was, you know oh my I mean? god <laughs> but he you was imagine really if that's how the first wrestlemania ended L dude I, and look <laughs> We wouldn't have 39 more. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not. Don't get mad at me. You know what I mean? To Teal Piper, you friend of the show, worked with you at Storkade or whoever. That is something Roddy told me. You know what I mean? Personally, that he had thought about that. Sheesh. Yeah. So he did not like Mr. T. Uh, <laughs> Needless to say. Keep going, Martin. Uh, next up on my list, I would put, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go recent. Uh, Roman Cody. It, mm. for one to expand okay. so many to expand like a it's hard for a, for a few to go over six months yeah, yeah. let alone a year yeah mm -hmm. and they built intrigue it built to the wrestlemania 40 it it worked in a lot of ways they got us engaged to where it's still kind of there's still something there sure yeah uh put it up on the screen uh yeah shout out to bad, bad news, news buck, buck. yes 
with the super chat says, I appreciate that Martin continually looks like a created player in a cutscene. Were <laughs> <laughs> you just going through the options? That's, That's why you got a Hawaiian shirt and a Luchador mask. <laughs> Slacks. You're like, I don't know what fit I want yet. It's but a lot of We'll get there. <laughs> um, I'll give you this. Austin McMahon. Of course. Yeah. Industry I will, uh, oh, it was the, oh, an era. I will also say The Rock versus Austin. Yep. Mm. I will say Undertaker versus Kane. Ooh. Oh. And okay. I was only going to do three, but my fourth one, I'll give you. Oh, go ahead. Put it on the screen. Oh, wait. Shut it down. Domingo Trip. Domingo Trip. Trip. Yeah. <laughs> With a nine, 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 nine. Says, uh, what's up, fellas? Anyone else notice that spot with Nikita Lyons surrounded by the Oba Femi and the Big Brothers like the beginning of a... Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, but GBS. Uh, with bang all... No, yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Okay. I, was... I didn't know. Yeah, no, I... Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. Didn't. No, yeah, we knew, man. He was man. around it. Yeah, man. <laughs> and he's like... Uh, is it, uh, <laughs> what happened in Dubai? <laughs> so where this is, this is what you come back with. Oh this is what you God. do. Oh, that's hilarious. Gang makes it. I will. Yeah, man. I, that was my first thought when I saw the Obafemi Nikita yeah. thing. I was like, Oh, Shawn Michaels showing his search words. Man, <laughs> he is showing what, what he looks at at home when he's by himself. Because boy, oh boy, because I had the same thoughts. Yeah, man. It uh, uh, should be interesting. <laughs> Yeah, Triple H gonna push DIY no matter what. What I was gonna say, Triple H, uh, The Rock uh, is my number three. Ooh, that's a great one. I did make both of them main eventers. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It took them from IC to world title picture. Yeah, and continuous. Yeah, yeah. This is, it didn't happen on a big enough stage, Mm -hmm. but it would be to me if it was if it had been, it would have been the greatest wrestling rivalry of all time. I gotta go Raven Tommy Dreamer. Ooh. This is a 20 year, so much so that Raven DDT'd Tommy Dreamer at his Hall of Fame <laughs> acceptance. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Like that's how, and Raven, friend of the show, he he doesn't, he, he told me he can't even do the even flow anymore. What? So like when he's in matches, he, the, the guy he's tagging with does the even flow and that's the big spot. Why can't he do it? He's bad shoulders. Oh God. But it. he did it. At the Hall of Fame speech, just because it was Dreamer. He's mm-hmm. like, I just was like, I'm going to just deal with the consequences <laughs> of this horrible injury I yeah. have. But, I mean, the character depth that they went into in that feud, like, giving us the backstory that they were in camp together as kids. Yeah. And Dreamer stole his girl, and he's hated him forever because of this. That's great. And then he's like, I'm going to take your girl, and then... Then she gets pregnant by Dreamer. It was a whole, it was like insane. And then he couldn't beat Raven for two years in ECW and finally does the night Raven leaves ECW to go to WCW. It was just perfection. Heyman was cooking. And then Raven coming back to be his tag team partner in their tag team. To beat the Dudley boys on their way to WWE. Why do you think Dreamer didn't get a great run in WWE? It's so funny you ask that because it's the same DIY problem. You invested in 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 Dreamer mm-hmm. because in ECW he was a pretty boy and the fans hated him. Oh. They booed him and then he got in the feud with Sandman and then they had the infamous caning incident where he kept asking Sandman for another swing with the cane mm-hmm. and then the crowd starts chanting, he's hardcore, he's hardcore, and that's when they embraced Dreamer. Mm-hmm. Then you added the Raven feud, and it was like, oh, it's on. Yeah. we get, How do you do all that in WWE? You know what I mean? Also, he's his body was already broken down. Got it. And yeah. couldn't move like he could, you know, wanted to. But all that goodwill, you know, people's champion thing. He's really the architect of that as far as like DDP, you know, even The Rock being the people's champion. It's really Dreamer who was the first. Mm-hmm. But it was, there wasn't enough time. And what you're going to... Highlight Dreamer when you got yeah, you got the, the Rock, Rock you got Austin Undertaker, Undertaker. <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 you yeah you you wanted uh, a WrestleMania main event of The Rock versus Tommy Dreamer <laughs> yeah yeah you just well and I, and I loved friend of the show I love yeah Tommy yeah, Dreamer. yeah Tommy yeah. Dreamer is great I was always a fan uh, but I've always been a fan of like the underdog like when you look at the Brooklyn Brawler sure yeah. I was like yo why was the Brooklyn Brawler everybody's <laughs> first no, why are you laughing <laughs> no because no right it was no. actually right we, we, was... we've heard your list we know yeah 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 Brooklyn Brawler 
should have been WWE champion. <laughs> no, 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 like, no, 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 no. <laughs> he couldn't have been that. But I, I definitely would have liked to have seen Brooklyn Brawler get a different kind of push. Like I still look. I'm a fan of Midian. <laughs> wow, Midian and Viscera. <laughs> But why, though? Yeah, okay. <laughs> please elaborate on this. So this time for The Undertaker, The yeah. Undertaker Ministry of Darkness is one of my favorite stables of all time yeah. because it had more than the standard three. Like, he truly had an army of people. That's because yeah. he had a broken ankle. <laughs> and they were like, Undertaker? Yeah, shuffle out there. Yeah, he like he broke his foot. What was it? Uh, what was it? Armageddon or what, whatever. Whenever he had the match with Austin, he yeah. had a broken foot that he had to wrestle through in like 98, I believe it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I loved... I love stables. I love big stables. Yeah. So when you saw Ministry of Darkness, you got Viscera, Midian, you got the Acolytes, you also had um, Paul Bearer. Paul Bearer. Right. You got Kane came around in four seconds. It was like, this is massive. And you got Undertaker as truly this cult leader. The brood. That was my favorite, yeah. huh? The Brood were in uh, the Ministry. And the Brood yeah, yeah, were yeah. in the Ministry of Darkness. Like, this is my favorite incarnation of the Undertaker. Hmm. Uh <laughs> Big shoulder pads, Undertaker. <laughs> this is your favorite Undertaker. You like the Undertaker? What do you? Yeah. The Undertaker. Put Austin on the. Yeah, on robe the Undertaker. Undertaker with the robe. I designed that robe in WrestleMania 2000. So many different colors. Oh, okay. Because you had. <laughs> no, I'm. <laughs> this is not shade. Yeah, I'm man. just agreeing with you. <laughs> Maybe my Bro. true emotions are coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You are so funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of so. What what is the where are you? What was the expectation with Midian? Uh, okay, good question. So Midian to me was just an interesting character. Like he was like uh, he made me think of one of the guys from the from the Goonies as a villain. <laughs> <laughs> not Superman, not Sloth, yeah. but like the brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He reminded me of him. And I was like, I like this guy. I feel like he should get a spinoff. <laughs> the but, guy with the sweatpants and a yeah. <laughs> t-shirt. Yeah, I was like, you didn't have wrestling gear. So <laughs> yeah. that's why he went naked. He, he, went naked, naked. he was yeah. like, you know what? I ain't wearing no gear, no way. I'm just going to see it in its natural form. He, listen, the ministry, oh. no shade. Yeah. The ministry, Undertaker, I'll give you him. Yep. Visceral was in a trash bag, all right? Yeah. I never said Visceral. <laughs> with, with yellow Visceral contact. was dressed like Missy Elliott <laughs> from the rain uh, video. I, I can't stand the rain <laughs> against my window. <laughs> I, I, I can't stand the rain. Midian was in an airbrush t-shirt you get for going to like Palm Springs, yes. right? like with, with with your with your girlfriend in ninth grade. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul, I don't even remember what Paul Bear just like. Oh, he didn't really do nothing with the ministry. Oh, he just was like yeah. there. He was just like, yeah, I got a new suit. I don't wear no ties no more. Yeah, because uh, I'm evil. Yeah, uh, which is like, always evil. Which is interesting for that. Yeah, but keep going. Yeah. Well, there was like a, a promo they did once, and they're like, say no to drugs. Yeah, don't do drugs. <laughs> yeah. Kids. Like, yeah, taking advice from no dead man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drunk drive. Consider the source WWE. Yeah. <laughs> oh then, man. Yeah. No, acolytes. I'll give you acolytes though, man. Acolytes I mean, was, were great. You know, painting Amazing. on their little chests and stuff. Because I was always a Farouk guy. Yeah. I man. wasn't a Bradshaw guy because Bradshaw had never seemed to take his workout seriously. No. <laughs> <laughs> like that was my thing against Bradshaw. So by the time they broke up, I was like, and I came back to wrestling. I was like, yeah. he's champion. Sure. That's why I never believed that uh, <coughs> people always try to paint Bradshaw with this racist brush. I'm like, his best friend is bl- Farouk. Yeah. <laughs> very pro-black Farouk. Very true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'll close out the rivalry thing. I'll say uh, yeah. Dusty Rhodes versus the Four Horsemen. Okay. Um, great. One of the greatest of all time. And then uh, the last one I had was um, probably, ooh, is it, would I say Brett versus Sean or Brett versus... We have five. You can Owen. Do yeah. You mm. can both. Yeah. No, I'll go Brett Sean. Yeah. Brett Sean. Brett Sean. Because that was the transition. It was like, even though, ooh, honorable mention Hogan versus the entire Heenan family. Okay. Because yeah. that bled into one of my favorite moments in all of wrestling when Hogan joins the NWO mm-hmm. and Heenan goes on the mic. I've been right the whole time about this man. <laughs> I was like, that is brilliant long term. Yeah. <laughs> Contextual storytelling, <laughs> yes. where it's like he has been trying to end Hulkamania since the eighties, yes, and then he turns evil and he's like, "See, he's not a good dude." <laughs> exactly. And in retrospect, he, he was, was always right. He was always right. Oh, right. right. um, <laughs> uh, we got another one. Go ahead, read that. 
a shout out to Vibe Woodchucks. Who says shout out before the bell? Since Nikita, they love this Nikita thing. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. Since Nikita was on one mo chance of love, <laughs> does that technically me make WWE part of the Flava Flav <laughs> cinematic universe now? <laughs> uh, Great question. I that feel like it. Flava Flav has been on WWE programming at some point. He had to have been. Had, had to, to have him. been. Yeah. There's no way they didn't have him as like a guest <laughs> yeah, yeah, host. Yeah, for sure. At one point. Um. So. We're going to get to the tip of this iceberg. I'm going to get into my frustrations on the after show. Mm. If you're not a member of the Patreon, become a member right now. Patreon.com slash Before the Bill podcast. Uh, the Motor City Machine Guns are our new <laughs> champions. It's like someone just told CT he got to go to the DMV. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H, count your days, man. <laughs> you count your days, boy. I can't wait to get into this on the after show. Uh, in the meantime, uh, nothing, no real big event from either show. No. There was two title changes. <laughs> okay. But did it feel massive? Yeah. Uh, I mean, Jay Uso, Luke, that set up the him joining his... Cousin and brother, like there's, a, I feel like, yeah, that's kind of big, but it rushed it Very because Survivor rushed. Series is in like three weeks. What exactly. Else? You was the one that had a problem with it. You were talking about, oh, I don't feel like they was rushed. You said that earlier. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't say that. Oh, that was a different mask. It was a different person. <laughs> <laughs> had a different POV. <laughs> I'm Ray, I'm Ray Marsterio. Oh, okay, there you go. And you think. You think I, he wasn't here. You think I don't know that you reused this mask. <laughs> well, this is a different mask, but same gimmick. Yeah, okay. Different mask. Though. The masks yeah. are getting tighter on the face. <laughs> you know, each it, one, the nostril goes up a little <laughs> bit higher. <laughs> huh? He looks like Voldemort. That's what I'm saying. Lamar's the nose <laughs> no, goes is, up is, higher, is very, higher with very each contained. mask. Uh, I I am I might pass out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What do you have coming up, Chris Burns? Man, listen, just uh. A lot of stuff, man. Just follow the new Instagram, the dot architect for all your video needs from me. We're just, I'm separating the personal from the, I guess, performer uh, personas. So yeah, the dot architect for all your uh, podcasting needs from me. Martin Maru. Yo, uh, just give me a follow at Martin M. Morrow, spelled like tomorrow. Uh, I'll, I post on my shows and stuff going on there. So check your boy out essay i love it uh so listen guys the facebook is taking off we are at twenty three thousand followers right now and it's because of you guys please continue to keep following and sharing the videos even if you can't watch them immediately hit the share because all of that helps us get to an even wider audience uh outside of that please follow us on tiktok on youtube on Facebook and Instagram because we are growing because of you guys. We will be talking next week of the fallout of uh, Crown Jewel, which will be a very interesting pay-per-view to say the least. And aside from that, I think that is everything. We want to thank everybody who gave us a super chat today. We appreciate your hard-earned money. We are truly grateful for you guys supporting us in a way that you do and not just talking about it, but being about it. Real and quick, we got two more super chats on the way out. Uh, Myron Jones, thank you. Just give us a $10 super chat. Woo! Appreciate you. And our boy Domingo Trip, Domingo uh, Trip, who said Martin did some illegal things in that mask in Tijuana. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. I believe it. Not at all. Not Unk at all. in Mexico. Is oh it? yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're watching the replay, make sure that you what give 10 us what ten pesos gonna get me. <laughs> <laughs> Put your bells like, in the chat. Like. No. Tell us. <laughs> Tell us your uh, greatest rivalries. Make sure that you get active with us in the comments for that. Give us your greatest rivalries, top five. And while you at it, tell us what you would like to be in a Chris's list in a future episode. You know what you should have? Mm. You should have a notebook. I thought about every this. Every time. I've thought about this. There yeah. will be props. All right, good, 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 I don't good. have the budget to Martin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to do this after show and I'm about to let it loose. If you would like to join Before the Bell podcast, patreon.com first. We'll see you there. We are out. Laid out for the count. One, two, three, before the bell podcast.